Do the tropics lure you while many Americans are looking to pick up and start a new life? And one spot that is very affordable is Vieques. We just spent some time there. We're finding that a lot of um, um, baby boomers are starting to purchase properties here and come like snowbirds. And and it's that's kind of, I think instead of Florida, I think I'd rather be here than Florida or South. Sorry, Florida. <laughs> but but um, yeah, it's it's nice. And then it's almost like you see the same people in the winter. It's like everybody's coming home and you go out places and it's like, hey, hey, hey. So um, it's nice because it is a small town atmosphere too. Susan Osborne is a full-time resident of Vieques. She's an artist and property manager who picked up stakes in Florida to come here in 2008. Now, Vieques has its advantages. The first is the views. This is paradise with some of the best beaches in the world. Another big advantage for Americans is that you are not leaving the country. Since Vieques is part of Puerto Rico, you are still part of the United States. And that means a short flight back to the U.S. mainland. You get to keep the same currency and cell phone. And although Spanish is spoken here, English is too. Plus, Vieques is relatively cheap. You could live comfortably on about 2000 to 2500 a month. Yeah, if you really like to go and do eat out because we have great restaurants um, almost every single one is restaurant owned so yeah it's a foodie island or if you want to do like trips to all these other crazy islands around us and if you just it's really not that expensive to live here people think that our groceries are expensive but they I don't think they are I find them pretty relative to um, the states but you need a certain kind of mentality here I don't know you have to like the peacefulness you, if you get bored easily it definitely isn't the place to live because if you need to go to like Home Depot, you have to go on a plane or on the ferry and then rent a car, or blah, blah, blah. So it's just a big, it's a big deal to go to the doctors or to go to major shopping and get things here. But other than that, it's a great lifestyle. How laid back is it? <laughs> well, a driver could stop in the road and talk to a friend and not even realize that the traffic is being stopped. And some other things, Puerto Rico has had some government financial problems. Unemployment is high here for locals, and there are lots of federal government subsidies here supporting folks. In addition, a large part of the island is restricted as the U.S. Navy cleans up from years of bombing practice from World War II through the Vietnam era. And many residents claim that the military left traces of uranium, which has led to a higher amount of cancer rates there. But because the island relies on tourism, if you have skills in the service industry, you can make money. We were told a good bartender could make around 5000 a month in the right job. Also, we are told a good car mechanic, too. Now, if you're interested, it is suggested you spend a few months there. There are house-sitting jobs available. All you have to do is go online. If you're looking for a hotel room, just go to jetsetterdeals.com.